What up good people, welcome to another video. We're gonna change things up a bit. We're gonna get right into the eating. What we've got here is 18 Burger King tacos. I'm just gonna see how fast we can do this. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. <coughs> hey everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, since we jumped right into the eating on this video, I thought I'd come and introduce this challenge a little bit. This is actually supposed to be a 20 Burger King taco challenge inspired by Notorious Bob. Uh, we actually got the Burger King, I waited a good half hour or so for our tacos, ended up getting home, realized we were only 18, thought we'd just go with it. Uh, they definitely started out really well at the beginning, really enjoyed the flavor. Uh, like I said in the video, the, the grease took its toll on me, kind of slowed me down. Towards the end, it was really fun. I'm uh, trying out the new item and having a little challenge with it. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Thanks. We're going to have to use some ketchup here. The flavor fatigue on these tacos. There's so much grease in these tacos. It's getting hard to get down these last four. Can counteract that with some ketchup. All right, that was the Burger King 18 Taco Challenge. Should have been 20, forgot to. But overall, tacos were pretty good. Um, the first few were really good. Um, they are a little bigger than I expected, a little greasier than I expected. The flavor and the grease kind of got to me and slowed me down a little bit. I hadn't done any practice with these these beforehand. It took a little while longer than I was hoping for. Still got done under half an hour. I'm gonna count that as a success. Um, total calories for the tacos, I think there were 170 a piece. So that is 3,060 calories total for the tacos. And uh, while we were at Burger King, I guess we can move the timer away. While we were at Burger King, we did see they came out with the new Impossible Whopper. Uh, that's this bowl, man. This is hefty. Uh, I've been looking forward to these. Um, I don't really eat red meat in my daily life, besides the tacos. Um, so we're really looking forward to this, trying these for the first time. So what's a better way than to compare? So I got an Impossible Whopper and a regular Whopper. I'm gonna try these out and just see how they are. Overall, just looking at them, uh, they look pretty similar. Uh, you can tell, I mean, you can tell this isn't beef. Um, is this one beef? But um, let's give the regular Whopper a try first is the, the baseline. Not bad. Not my favorite burger in the world. But not bad. Tastes like a Whopper. Not now for the Impossible Whopper.
I'm oddly nervous about this for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm nervous about this. Overall, it's not bad. Tastes pretty similar to the regular Whopper. <clears throat> if I were to give the regular Whopper <clears throat> probably like a 6.5 out of 10, I think the Impossible Whopper would probably be like a 6. It's different enough that it's pretty good that I would choose the Whopper. Um, but as someone who doesn't eat beef and red meat that often, uh, I would not think twice before making the switch over the Impossible Whopper. It's a great option, a great choice. Um, I'll definitely be getting it again in the future. All right, guys. The initial plan we were playing this video was I was gonna try and eat these. We saw something where we're at the store, picking up our essentials, the Diet Coke, the Pepto, um, that I really want to try. So I'm going to set these aside. Um, these are really good. Definitely going to have the Impossible Whopper again, um, especially if I haven't had Whopper really, uh, maybe like two or three of my life. Um, they're okay, but definitely have this as an option. Definitely uh, more interested to go back. Probably pass on the tacos though next time we go. Um, but what we saw at the store, couldn't pass up. Two of my favorite items, chocolate and peanut butter in Twinkie form. Uh, really excited to try these out. Couldn't resist myself. Um, let's dig in. Is there anyone around? Anybody? Anybody who wants a Twinkie who can help me? What are these? Twinkies? All right, let's open one for Cody and open one for Daddy. Ooh, Cody, is it good? Can you show the camera the inside? Show the camera. Ooh, is there peanut butter in there? Oh, those are delicious. Oh, the Whopper is a six and a half out of ten. These are like a twelve out of ten. Yeah. Oh, yummy. Thumbs up. All right, good people. Well, we're gonna finish up these Twinkies. Just want to give a big shout out, big thank you to everyone for watching the videos, continuing uh, to watch. We're having a lot of fun. Uh, making these and uh, interacting with y'all um, doing it if you have any ideas for future challenges uh, make sure and put them in the comments below um, let me know if you're a Twinkies guy or a ho ho's guy ding dongs um, I've always been a Twinkie man myself uh, make sure you check out our, our social media Facebook Twitter and Instagram at the J Krause give this video a like uh, make sure to subscribe hit that notification bell We'll keep trying to pump out these uh, weekly videos for you all. Until next time, see you later. I'm just going to finish these Twinkies. This is what my nephew calls me, the Hungry Crocodile. Until next week, the
What makes these Twinkies great is that they're moist. 